Hi, I'm Mike Stanton at September 4th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey and Chris Blossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Thanks for being here, gentlemen. Uh, first Friday of the month always brings us the unemployment report. This one is another big number, 1.4 million new jobs. Uh, Grant, how did that impact the markets already? Well, so we had, uh, you know, they beat expectations. The unemployment rate uh, uh, fell to 8.4%. And, you know, the Fed policymakers were talking recently uh, about, you know, kind of the year-end unemployment rate at 9.3%, which obviously looks far too pessimistic. So uh, I think equity futures turned around on that news. And and uh, I think the expectation now is that the next uh, FOMC meeting in mid-September, you know, we'll see a big reflection, a uh, big revision to reflect some of the uh, August data. Um, average hour, hourly earnings rose 0.4%, uh, but I think the Fed signaled that uh, you know, it'll continue to pay more attention to uh, employment numbers than, you know, its other mandate of price stability. So um, it was, uh, you know, that's a fourth straight month of employment growth. We've gained back almost half of the jobs lost to uh, the pandemic. Um, and uh, one interesting little thing I saw is 25% of employed people are working from home, including three of us, but, um, but there's, still pretty, there's still pretty impressive strength in the muni market. I mean, the technical tailwinds uh, from the summer months are continuing to moderate. Uh, we had, um, you know, 139 million uh, in investor inflows, which is the 17th straight week of, of inflows, but also a pretty uh, negligible number given the billion uh last week and, and uh, we've seen quite a bit added obviously over over the last few months so um, you know there's uh, some pressure on yields the 10-year muni ratio uh, rose to 127 uh, percent versus I think it was 110 percent late last week so um, so uh, anyway I think there is there's still a strength the deals did well this week but uh, we do sense that there's a little bit more of like uh, a, uh, a a supply demand equilibrium in the market, and, um, so we expect things to continue to uh, yields to continue to grind higher. And as that happens, we're also uh, seeing more uh, interest in bond insurance, right? Uh, and penetration for the month of August was 8.6%, which is a significant number given the the total volume in the market, uh, some 17%. Uh, last week, so uh, those are all still strong trends from uh, Bam's perspective. Of course. Um, looking ahead, we had an interesting, uh, there's a webinar this week, Tom Doe from Municipal Market Analytics took a look at the historical trends and pointed out that actually, um, while you have a reputation of August being the dog days of summer, August uh, volume typically is stronger than September and the subsequent months into the fall. Um, and so one of the questions is to how that's gonna play out this year. And already you're seeing, uh, looking next week, it is a holiday shortened week, but only $7 billion on the calendar. So you might be seeing the start of that, uh, a little bit of a slowdown. Um, yeah, I mean, we, uh, it'll be a little bit lighter, but uh, again, I think we're well on pace for the year to be in that 425 to 450 uh, billion range. So a lot of that, as we know, is kind of driven by this increase in taxable. Um, uh, taxable. And that was kind of our biggest deal of the week. Um, Chris, I don't know if you want to uh, talk about the Lehigh uh, deal. Sure. Uh, overall, BAM had a pretty solid week in the primary market. This week we saw a relatively light competitive calendar that we compared to the last several weeks. So most of our activity this week was in the negotiated space. But as Grant mentioned, there was a $160 million Lehigh County deal in Pennsylvania that was priced by RBC that priced really well with the market, great reception from investors. There were also two sizable transactions in the state of Ohio. Stiefel priced a $35 million Perry local school district deal and KeyBank also priced a $31 million Hamilton, Ohio deal. Looking ahead to next week, uh, about $150 million of BAM uh, insured paper slated to come to the market. What uh, stands out? So a few transactions to note for next week. There's a $32 million Apple Valley, California deal. This is a tax allocation deal with Stiefel. There's also a $30 million Cloverleaf local school district deal in, in Ohio. And then the big deal of the week is the Rosedale Rio Bravo water transaction for $55 million across two series. Uh, this transaction is going to price with the BAM Green Star. We've also posted a credit inside video to our, our website for the transaction. Great, and I think that's being priced by Wells Fargo. So uh, we'll see how right. those uh, transactions perform. Have a great Labor Day weekend, gentlemen, and uh, we'll see you in, later in September.
Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM-insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption. So while America rebuilds, BAM has you covered. BAM. Build America Mutual. Talk to your investment advisor or visit buildamerica.com.